I think a wrestler who doesn't wear knee pads looks more naked than if a dude whips his fucking flute out. <laughs> yes, agreed. There is no reason to take off a man's clothes in a, in a wrestling match. Just in general. <laughs> <laughs> Is this some kind of life rule? <laughs> Poke to the eyes, brass nook shot, gasp for breath, all the classics. <laughs> SpongeBob Square Taz, like <laughs> little dose of bollocks. <laughs> what a mark! Even eloquently misplaced pieces of your history. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I really tried for probably two paragraphs on the yeah, first page, I'm and then saying. I said, I'm, I'm miserable now. <laughs> Jungle Boy, do you know who he's the son of? I do. Jungle Man. <laughs> he loves his wrestling, does Michael Buffer, doesn't oh, he? Oh, yeah. He knows he's wrestling. He's a lifelong fan of money. So, so <laughs> Baraka. Oh, my God. Head like a melted wheelie bin, Jay. I, I don't want one, Jay. Greg the Hammer Valentine, 48. 48. <laughs> How is he so young? <laughs> two big horrible fat knackers waddling about smacking each other with shit <laughs> and bleeding Scott Hall can't wrestle later maybe he's like a torrent it doesn't work until it's 100% <laughs> that was so nerdy nobody was laughing nobody was enjoying it it was like an outpouring of grief almost <laughs> that's your main event like I've seen sadder wrestling matches <laughs> but not many <laughs> Live from the entertainment capital of Leinster, it's, it's the sly old minky musky madman on the prowl. It's your host, all flibble, no quibble. It's the man of the hour. Take it or leave it, that's all we're getting. It's Foxy Stout. Hooray! 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 Hello, I'm Foxy Stoat, your fabulous felt line friend, and your host tonight for the eighth golden nugger. Hooray! You may remember me from such movies as Wet Coat, Warm Hands, The Bruce Hart Story, <laughs> daring dramas like The Power of Dog, Guy Style, The Extra Bumming Cut, <laughs> <laughs> and biopics like Benjamin Button 2, How Is He So Young, starring Greg Valentine. Hey! hey. The Golden Noggers are OSW's award show recognizing the dizzying highs, terrifying lows and creamy middles of our past year. There's been well over 150,000 votes cast this year. Ooh. Yeah. Is this up or down from last year? I... It's up from last year. Hey. Hey. It's down from last year. Mm. Ooh, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> categories. A whopping 19 categories in total, including the seven returning new ones from last year. Plus one Nogger U exclusive category for non-episode OSW videos. Previously, we've done awards yearly, but in 2020, we held off until we finished the new gen arc, and that went well, so now we'll just do it at the end of every arc. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, Just yeah, doing golden augers at the end of every arc. I, I agree. Now, before we start, it's the perfect time to do a quickie rundown year in retrospective and some stats for OSW. Yay! 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 I love the stats. I love the yeah. stats. The stato. OSW 2021 to half of 2022 in review. This past year we crossed our milestone 100th episode. After the new gen arc, we were in the run up to episode 100. We thought it would be cool for each of us to choose a review of anything we wanted and cap it off with a fan vote for episode 100. Jay chose SWS versus WWF Watch Along. Oh yeah, I was thinking, how can I spend more time with you guys? Really? Oh. So let's do a three hour watch along and it's much less editing for me. <laughs> yeah, that, that, because normally our recording sessions are a lot longer than three hours. So it was a, a day it's off. Actually, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a half year. Yeah. Uh, it was enjoyable. OOC's choice was The Hobbit. Oh, wow. oh, what a great choice. Oh, uh, absolute whopper. Uh, one of my favourite things we've ever done. I agree. The Hobbit, some good, some bad, mixed bag, happy to talk about. Mostly bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> V1, you chose AEW Farty Pyro. AEW Farty Pyro, yeah. yeah Revolution yeah. 2021. In terms of in-ring wrestling quality, it's still one of AEW's weakest shows. But in terms of bollocks that we can talk about, I thought it offered us a lot. I think it was a nice intro to AEW for us and for maybe lots of fans who had never given it a chance. Had loads of fun. 
My favourite bit was listening to Steve's perspective on AEW, who, you know, he's a big fan. I loved I loved the review, but I loved watching the show as well. And uh, I loved you taking the driving seat in this, because most of it is me and you going, Steve, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> How's this been? <laughs> Yeah. Are they yeah. any good? It was actually... Is this another wrestler? <laughs> <laughs> He's just like a business. <laughs> it was weird for two shows in a row. It was like Ook, who was the kind of driving force, and then me. So uh, very, very different kind of flavors of OSW. Yeah, we should definitely go back. Definitely. If there's ever a solid... Yeah, I keep a weather eye on the horizons even for any big bollocks. <laughs> that yeah. OSW should uh, shine and shave and tackle. Excuse me. <laughs> And the fans vote for Heroes of Wrestling OSW 100. Oh, fine choice, lads. That was a banger of an episode. Do we let the people in on the magic? Go on. That we took a chance and recorded the show before the vote was in? Oh, <laughs> well, you just fucking blew open <laughs> the, the forbidden door of K-Fave. Well, well, basically, the, the thinking was that this is probably going to win. But if it doesn't, it means that we have Heroes of Wrestling in the pocket for a future show. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it worked out great. Um, 2020 pandemic. We released a ton of our Nogger U content, old and new, alongside our regular content to help people get through this horrendous time in the world. We got lots of lovely feedback thanking us for bringing it out, but during 2021, we enjoyed doing these high profile videos rather than many small releases. Like just bringing out tempo releases, quality over quantity. Mm. Yeah. So that's all I have to add. Yeah. Okay. I'm just agreeing with what. No, you're okay, yeah, th- you're agreeing with mm. what you wrote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Hobbit and the Last of Us Two deep dives are the result of that. Sure, after we finish the Hobbit film, there's still 45 minutes left in the video, and it's basically eight short YouTube videos, but in one giant review. So we did Peter Jackson cameos. Mm-hmm. Book and film differences, DVD appendices. Oh, I love that. I love you doing that review. That was great. Yeah. Thank you. I enjoyed watching it. Talking music, reviewing the first hobby game. That was great. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Oh, it was wasn't. Uh, I, I enjoyed that you didn't enjoy it. <laughs> the first Hobbit film. With the Carney promoter. I loved reviewing that and talking about that as well. Talking about fan edits, which I still want to watch. A good fan edit. Ooh, I've got the Maple Leaf one. I can yeah. flex it up. Flex it like. up, yeah. please, yeah. And brushing on the Amazon series, which is getting closer. Mm, uh, it looks grabbage. I'm expecting... I've got no expectations for it. Really? I expect it to be bad. So, come on, prove... Pr- I can't say prove me wrong anymore. No, not in Luna. Yeah, yeah, not, not in this kind yeah. of... <laughs> 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 um, YouTube copyright. That was probably the biggest thing about last year. It took them two months. There was a copyright bug, which means that uh, how I usually get episodes cleared on the internet. Like I upload them to YouTube. It gets matched. I dispute that. WWE say no. Then I appeal that. And then they say yes. But what was happening, I dispute it and then nothing. And that was it. And I went to YouTube and their help for creators. And they said, no, it's working. Everything's working as normal. And I was like... Have WWE found a way to just block our stuff and that's it with no recourse? I was I actually thought, okay, this is the end of OSW on YouTube. I was tearing my hair out for yeah, the bulk of two months. And then I got on to Wrestling Bios and I was talking to him about this and he got on to different uh, YouTube help and they say, oh yeah, there's a bug in it, but it should be fixed now. And then I sent my disputes and it went through and business is normal again. I was like, oh, bastards. Incompetent. Yes, no help. The opposite of help. Because mm. imagine if someone told you they did a task and you would go about your day assuming that it's done, and but it hasn't been done. Mm. So it's more work than if they said they haven't done it. So it's uh, horrible. The other thing about this, I don't know how I'm going to do it on the video, but YouTube over the last year now class the word cunt as a hate word on the same level as the N word or the homophobic F word. So it just means we can't say cunt anymore. So I don't know what's going to happen with the editing of this. If I just go... <coughs> the coo of the year. <laughs> you know? I'm more worried about older episodes that might have... Yeah, the- we're, it's just laced. They're all laced with cunt. So they'll, they'll probably all be age rated. I definitely think we're a bit better now than we used to be. Like, you know, we're not great by any stretch, you know? Still have filthy tongues and everything, but we're definitely not as bad as we used to be back in the early days. 
if we can just use adjectives which include that's what I've been doing recently mm. just using adjectives that include the word conti conterific contacular contacular yeah mm. Um, I can't believe they add words to things you can't say, uh, as opposed to the other way around. Like uh, the, things becoming more acceptable. Uh, it's not the current way of the world, is it? The like current way is to clamp down on more things. That's weird. Yeah. Because if you think of like what people get away with on TV, it's like only recently, like with AW and did WWE do it? They just they're shouting shit. Yeah, AW do it a lot. Yeah. WWE the odd time. Okay. Hey. Hey, go fuck yourself. Get that guy out of here. Piece of shit. But it's weird that this is going more puritanical. Anyway, horrible. Yeah, uh, thanks to V1 saving our asses and streaming the episodes on Twitch until YouTube copyright was sorted. Hooray! Thank you, Steve. Much appreciated, mate. And it's quite nice to be able to have at least a backup plan, you know, for when they go down, you know? How's it been being on Twitch in general? I love Twitch. It's great fun. <laughs> Very lucky that the OSW fan base, which in general I think is like the best on the net, absolutely translates over to Twitch. So we have like the best Twitch chat ever, and like people who come in from like random other pages say, oh "My God, the chat here is really nice." And I'm like, "That's because it's OSW." Aww. Mm. Any overarching thoughts on how we progressed as a show from watching like our old stuff? Uh, like the show is much better it's much tighter excuse me the slow growth of the show like uh, it's a bit slicker we're definitely nicer now we we were way meaner back at the start lads holy fuck we were just giving out about things and maybe a couple of dozen episodes in we did a total 360 brother (laughs) and we began to rather than look for faults to pick apart we began to look for the things that we love and shout it from the rooftops and that's the kind of thing that I really think makes air show different to almost every other wrestling show so we we look for the good rather than looking for the bad we got less smarky as we went on definitely definitely I've noticed that yeah I think that's that's an age thing as well look I'm still probably as grumpy as I was uh, 11 years ago but maybe less pissed off about things and more yeah that's a bit shit rather than that's fucking shit maybe Less smarky and more marky. Yeah. <laughs> Is it kind of like Thundercats where, like, smart beyond smark? <laughs> <laughs> Thunder! 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 Thundercats! I'm going too high! You fucking dog, yeah! Here are the stats from 2021. The hard figures, half, Steve. The, the numbers from 2021, the first half of 2022. Okay. Whopping 18.7 million views over a million a month. So that's all videos uh, combined. Yeah, that's good. It's great. I've no clue like what that means in terms of the greater picture of YouTube, but it sounds like loads. Thank yeah. you so much, guys. Yeah. I can't fathom 18 million people watching the show. I can't fathom that amount of eyeballs on the show. It's it weird. is crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Do you want to hear the top five most watched videos? Yes, please do. Oh, 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 lesbian pollen. <laughs> lesbian pollen. <laughs> lesbian pollen. <laughs> Attacks of the pollen variety. <laughs> <laughs> Number five is the Warrior debut. 429,000 views. Okay. Uh. You know, that's just an episode of Nitro. Mm. Number four. <laughs> Number four with a bullet. <laughs> SWS versus WWF. Watch it on. Wow. That's mental. 452,000. That's way too much. (laughs) When I went back to watch all the shows on this arc, when I was taking notes for the nominations, I was shocked by how much fun this episode is. Oh, wow. You talking about politicking Mm. in an e-fed for like 15 minutes is fabulous. Excellent. I'm delighted we got it out there anyway. It's off our chest now, Jay. They've guaranteed there'll be some kind of follow-up on that. Yeah. Number three, yeah, Solid Mania 11, 500k. Okay, that would have just come out just after Christmas. Well, Christmas Day. I, I think, you know, we do a great job with all of our videos, but I didn't think it was that standout, you know? Well, it's a Mania episode. Mm. You know, I thought it was a good... A, a, like, and plus it's one. new gen, so I would have thought the general interest level <laughs> would be quite low. But anyway, that's great. Uh, number two, always, always up the top, Rumble 2001 with 519,000. Man, from the X7 arc. This That's is, been a while. Is this by far our most popular wrestling episode? 
Yes, and it was January as well, so that might be a thing. So it's just perennial, but it always gets a bump in January. Yeah. Okay, because people searching Roy- yeah, yeah, Royal yeah. Rumble and, and like maybe for Mania as well then actually yeah. and it's also from like the biggest time of wrestling yeah. as well does it ever make you think like maybe we should do some some kind of Attitude Era well I thought arc. we'd get there in oh, the end we definitely will yeah, oh, yeah. but I, I think I've been holding out for over a decade so we probably should do it <laughs> <laughs> and number one Of course, it's the freaking Palin, 643,000, despite being age-gated. So what you're saying is people are submitting their passports to YouTube so they can watch this video. I think for age-gated means they have to... Sign in. Yeah, they have to sign in. Just sign If in. it's 18 plus, like the rumor Samurai Cop, then they have to give in their passports. Oh, uh, so they just have to sign in for this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it means that it absolutely kills the reach because most people don't sign in. Yes. But, like, obviously not if it's still number one. It's worth signing in for, apparently. Well, the first year was, like, 20 million, you know? (laughs) It's a ridiculous number. (laughs) It's an inappropriate number. It's it's a 10-year-old boy number. It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I I actually had a look at the analytics on that. It's, like, India through the roof. Ah, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you to all of our Indian fans, by the way. Foreign boy. (laughs) (laughs) They're number six on the list. Okay. Top five countries. Steve... Top you, want, country? you want to guess? Okay. US, obviously. Obviously. No particular order here, yeah. UK? Absolutely. I, I'm guessing you you know, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Canada? Back yeah, back. Good, good call. Okay. Is Ireland in the top five? You know, Ireland. Yeah, and one okay. more. And there's one more. Australia. No, he's good. He is very good. That yeah. was a tough one. That, was, that was Nathan Jones, mate. Yeah. So. Good night, mate. So we got top five countries. Number five, Ireland with 2.5%. Number four is Australia with 3%. So a huge surge, by the way. Oh, okay. Number three is Canada with 7%. Those maple leaf sucking puck slappers. <laughs> <laughs> love you. The home of Bruce Hart. Who yeah. doesn't love Canada? Number two is the UK with 21%. And number one, the US with almost half at 47%. Wow. Those Shatner stealing Mexico touchers. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it amazing that they didn't just, you know leave us back in the early days when half of OSW was <laughs> slagging the Yanks. Yeah. yeah. It's because the Americana that Vince was pushing was so hard. Like, he just Roman Reigns, the, if you love America, buy my pay-per-view. Yeah. It was horrible. He's monetizing your love for your country. That's that's horrible, you know? Yeah. I also want to shout out thank you to everyone in Britain because uh, they comprise, like, half of Nogger U as well. Oh, wow, okay. So we wouldn't be doing the show. If it wasn't yeah, for you guys, yeah. yeah. So thank you so much. Nice. Yeah. Also, okay. I like Sainsbury's. They do good stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and Waitrose is super fancy as well. They have so many supermarkets. Like, seven supermarkets, lads. Nice. We've got two. <laughs> 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 do you want to do a top ten UK top supermarkets? Top ten UK supermarkets. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, and with that, and finally, yeah. the Golden Noggers. Oh, yeah, we're doing the Golden Noggers. Yeah, here we are. We're not going to hot dog and grandstand for, well, at the next 30 seconds. Speaking of awards, now over to our very own Oscar. Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> he won! Hey! Hey! What are the rules? What are the rules? What are the rules? Lads, what about the rules? <laughs> the, rules. <laughs> the rules. The rules are made to be adhered to. Rules are <laughs> important, lads. Nominations are the OSW videos created since the last Golden Augers. Mm-hmm. So that includes SWS versus WWF, The Hobbit, AEW, Heroes of Wrestling. Then OSW 101 Warrior debut on Nitro, all the way up to Warrior OSW 109 Warrior Farewell. Mm. Where applicable, nominees from our non-OSW episode reviews are in the same voting category. For example, Raiden's Jeff Jarrett haircut nominated in the State of Your Hair Award. Fantastic. If you win an award, you cannot be nominated the next year. And if you win the same award three times, the award will be named after you. Hence, our most contacular award is now called the Hulk Hogan Award. Scott Steiner and Test both have two Roy de Magoos, 
Scott is also nominated this year. Ooh. Now, with all of our hot dogging and grandstanding out of the way, let's start the show. <laughs> oh, excellent. Well done, Stephen. Well, I think we just found out a new rule. Best Original Music. Ah, last year's winner was Backland by Dankmas. The I never eaten marijuana. Sports. It's sports education. Oh man, what amazing a banger of a tune by Dankmas. OSW ninety three from Survivor Series ninety four. So, Steve, can we have the nominees? And the nominees are OSW Batman theme by. Ryan Prober. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, Demi Baggetti, sir. Baggetti <laughs> <laughs> bear. Uh, sorry, do you want <laughs> me to say, say something about uh, do, do we want to say anything or do you want me to just power on through when we... You know oh, what? If there is anything. You did yeah. a fantastic job. I hope people can actually listen to the song because it includes Acceptable in the 80s as a riff in the song. Yes. So it's Batman plus Acceptable in the 80s. It's brilliant. Minecraft Macho by Ryan Probeer. <laughs> <laughs> Dual baguette for you, sir. The oh, Watchman the music. Watchman, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very nice, Jay. Uh, Very good. The Minecraft Macho uh, that we did on OSW 100, I actually initially intended that for WrestleMania 11, but then I thought this is big enough to do for the 100 episode, ah. so I cobbled together a thing with um, Donald Kirby to make WrestleMania 11. Nice. And there, here we go, here's Minecraft Macho, and hopefully it feels like 100 episodes, oh, that's a big thing, you know? It's very grand. Mm. Warrior Synthwave by Wrestling Undercover. Yeah, that's Chris Maffei. He did our ECW theme, our, in the metal version of Acceptable in the 80s as well, back nice. in the day, for our ECW arc. Amazing job. It's oh, fabulous. Boy, blew me away. Blew me away. <laughs> <laughs> OSW Montage by Lame Genie. Uh, do I come up? Uh, which one? Um, you want to escape from parts unknown? Oh yeah, Put some tassels mm. at GoPro and have a montage. Montage. By the way, super, super nice guys. They actually popped into the Twitch like a couple of times and they're really awesome. Yeah. Um, it was really cool because I pulled an AVGN and I immediately outsourced <laughs> writing lyrics. So I asked the guys on NoggerU and the Discord lads to submit lyrics, what do you think? And I was able to kind of cobble together lyrics for the song on it. Awesome. This was actually done seconds with Lame Genie because the first one was the Halloween Hop with Batman metal intro. And I was so happy with that. It was like, oh, you know, we're still making firepower. Can you do a song? Can you do montage for us? So, and this is it. And you got this as well. Incredible. Warrior Wildfire, uh, Lucas from Zombie 13. <laughs> uh, Lucas, as in, uh, oh, it's just the crew to all of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zombie 13 did a bang up job. I, I just asked him, can we use your song for this episode? And he was like, eh, sure, I'll just re record it. Here you go. It sounds way better now. And he's like, holy crap. Nice. There you go. Those sounds really nice. Mm. 
Yeah, absolutely. He does really banging music and plays a lot of video games as well. So check him out on YouTube. Mm. The juice of the poison is even more dangerous. You know what the dingo can do? He's gonna do it to you all over. Ah! Check out all of these lads on YouTube. I'll link- links in the description. And last but not least, OSW Batman Metal Remix by Lame Genie again. Oh, I love this song. I, I love because there's. I think I just love the double bass pedal of it, and because yeah. they break it, I was like, it's like, oh, that's so cool. Oh, Stephen, can we have your choice and prediction of what you think will win? I certainly can. My personal choice, the one that gave me the most joy, was OSW Montage. I listened to this song on repeat for so long, just singing along, because I love this song as it is, you know, the, e- even Rocky had a montage. Yeah. And then to have like our own version of it, mark out moment. So OSW Montage is my vote. The one that I think is going to win... It's between Ryan Probert's Batman and Warrior Synthwave. Um, Ooh. I think Batman is going to take it because that is the song of this arc. So that's my choice. Jesus, see there. You can see because it's the theme of the arc. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think that's going to win. But uh, my favorite is the Lame Genie's Batman. I remember just hearing it and it's just, I don't know, it's so gothic and evil. And I I expected, you know, he kind of put four or five layers together to make the song. And then uh, Mike actually sent me the stems and it's like 20 something tracks that he overlaid to make that sound. And it's big as it is. I was like, whoa, okay. Yeah, love it. I'll go for Chris Maffei, Warrior Synthwave. Amazing. I like that kind of uh, synth wavy music. But, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, the, the Blade, Blade Runner whole aesthetic. To it, yeah. yeah, exactly. That 80s yeah. kind of vibe. Brilliant. Love that. I, and what I think will win, I'll go with the OSW Batman by Ryan Probert. Again, for the same <laughs> reasons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, number three with 13%. OSW Batman Metal Remix by okay. Lame G. Uh, number two at 21%. Warrior Synthwave. Like mm, thing undercover. Nice, nice. And number one with a 46.63%, and I'll round to the nearest percentage, so unless it's very close, then I'll tell you. So with 47%, OSW oh, Batman theme by Ryan Prover. Didn't it boost by Imagineer Kill Punch your hero the reservoir that the last one? Mr. Prover. Is this Ryan's first win? Yes. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, how about that? The Golden yeah. Nugger Award winning composer. Excellent. Uh, move over his like shelf full of BBC awards. It's like, no, it's, it <laughs> this is the one that counts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is when you know you've made it. Exactly. Yeah. I, no, I'm delighted for him. Congratulations. He's really fucking talented, lad. Uh, he's way more talented than we are. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Best Song Cover. Yes, the songs sung by your boys. Last year's winner was the Raw theme. Can you give us your choice and prediction, sir? I went with should have been dead yeah, on a Sunday morning Back in my head No time for me Ain't got no time Did you know that was the only part In the entire history Present and past of OSW Where that song is in stereo Us singing is in like left and right stereo. Oh so it's actually proper yeah. Like sound quality mm. Saying that it's better than Creed Yes. <laughs> no, 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 do to boot it. <laughs> Fucking love it. Court is in session. Verdict is in. No appeal on the docket today. Just my own sin. 
I went with my own prison because I'm a Creed fan and by God, I'm going to put Creed over every chance. That <laughs> You're going to die on that hill. I <laughs> am. I am going to die on that fucking hill. And I think what's going to win is Wakawo Hey Hey. Yeah. I think any time that comes up as a possible choice, I think it's got to be the front runner. But little part of me wants Goblin Town to win. Oh. Do you know oh, to drink all day and to smoke all day? It's all it's all great. Okay, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I choose partridge, anything partridge, all day partridge. After, After the, the pee, pee your poo has landed, landed to make sure <laughs> that you're clean handed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think the NWO will win any walk away hey hey because it it also signifies a terrible booking decision. It's like we're having a great match. It's Eddie versus Saturn, <laughs> and you get a bullshit finish. So yeah, has to win. For me, it's between my own prison and we've done it again this year. We're gonna try it again next year. The Hobbits, Steve. The Hobbits. We're gonna take them to Isengard one day. It might not be today, but it will be eventually. I'm gonna keep pushing. You know I am. But the winner will, of course, be Wakawahe by a landslide, I'm guessing, like, 70 plus percent. The Hobbits, the Hobbits, the Hobbits, the Hobbits. Isengard, <laughs> Isengard. <laughs> uh, number three with 6.35%. My own prison, my, my own, own prison. prison. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. with that. In second place with 6.43%. The Blue Oyster, Perry Saturn and Police Academy. What's the real name of that song? Blue Oyster. Yeah, it's it's on the screen. You can see it. And the winner in in first place with a whopping forty two point seven five percent. Uh, we can all do this together. The NWO theme. Yeah. Smashed it. And uh, there was a few Wakawa Hey Hey variations. Yeah, so uh, there was Wakawa Hey Hey, there was the Wakawa Putski, there was Wakawa Hey Hey, and there was Thank You for Wakawa Hey. hey. <laughs> 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 so there was girls. multiple versions, you know? Yes. All of them bangers. Yeah. yeah. Well deserved. Well done. Well done. Best artwork. Mm, last year's winner was Lex and Yoko with the Street Fighter Alpha by Donald Kirby. That's like one of my favorite artworks we've ever done. It's awesome. Oh, it's Brilliant. Okay, uh, let's have a quick montage. First of all, and say thank you to everyone because you guys are fucking awesome, really, really talented lads. Well, thank uh, me because I hired them. Right? <laughs> My favorite, uh, the Blade Runners. Oh yeah, um, I just love how it looks. I love that kind of color scheme, the like blue and red eighties look. Yeah, that's a shot from Blade Runner twenty forty seven. Yeah, and I th- I can't believe that wasn't ripped off from the original. They just made that for that film. It's like whoa, because it's. I don't know, very iconic looking. Yeah, it's really cool. I have three that I think are in with a chance. Uh, I went for the AEW artwork because I oh, just... Oh, the Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. yeah, I think that's fucking awesome. Jake's titty balls. <laughs> uh, just because that Quite segment fun. is magic. Uh, but the one I Good think work, Dino. is going to win because people are going to want to get him something because he missed out last year. Oh. I went for Mo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. A pity vote. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my choice, my favorite one is Halloween Havocs, uh, the Warriors Hell, because it, it has a side profile of Warrior and uh, Hogan. I just think it looks really badass. And I, it has my favorite set, the Halloween Havoc set. So getting that in artwork form and Donald Kirby did an amazing job with it. So yeah. Oh, a little bit of did you know? It says Halloween Havoc on the logo, but he actually drew another warrior, like a teeny warrior going, ah! but I cut him from. Uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you can see it here. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Yeah. Yeah. No, it deserves yeah. to be culture. <laughs> and my prediction is the same. I'm thinking Halloween Havoc gets the pinnacle of the arc. It's the culmination. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for me personally, AEW Revolution. I love that one. And obviously Luger. Which one has Luger? It's the drugs one. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. And I'm actually going to say Jake Tittyball is going to win because I think Halloween Havoc's going to have a bigger impact later on. This is more of a vote for Heroes of Wrestling, I think. Oh, okay. Great, man. Uh, Dino, he, he's, he's, he's been fluffed good in this uh, category. <laughs> uh, in third place with 13%, AEW Revolution 2021, Mox Omega. To it's an awesome picture. Metal Gear I love it. Lovely, yeah. That was Carl Shokatano did that. Mm. Absolute beast. Yeah, yeah, he did a great job with it. Uh, he's done a couple of artworks for us throughout the years, including Bound for Glory 2017 with Abyss as Joker. Oh, I love that one. And in second place with 16%, Blade Runner's Nitro. Incredible piece. Danny Williams did such an amazing job making it all synth wavy. And in first place with 18%, Warrior Farewell. The Warrior No More. Oh, yeah. okay. OSW 109. I mean, it is a take on one of the more famous comic book panels or, mm. or covers yeah, that's yeah. ever been done. And it's really cool. It's really clever as well. So yeah, I mean, look, Everything here was great. Anything that won or came second or came third or came eighth doesn't matter. They're all awesome. I'm walking away <laughs> from all the Hogan's in my life. The McCodum Award. Yes, best animated segment. Last year's winner, Smelly Porn Man from Wonderful. OSW 85. Incredible. My personal favourite of all time. Yeah, it's a lovely ook story as well. Yeah. So, your choice and prediction, sir? My choice here and my prediction are oh. one and, and the same. As great as everything is, Terry and the Forklift is magic. I fucking love it. It is my choice and I believe it's going to be the choice. You have a personal vested interest in Terry when he, oh, yeah. Although, if he wins, he's going to knock on your door looking for a, a golden <laughs> auger. You know, so. He'll just be like, that wasn't on the first day. And I'll be like, that's how the story goes now. <laughs> that's you know? even worse, mate. <laughs> if you're better trained and you still did it. Sorry, did you have any thoughts overall on the choices? You kind of highlighted a few favourites in the last one. I Here, absolutely right? did. Uh, go ship the... Last of Us 2 Deep Dive is like one of the shows that I'm like, like I think we did the best job on. Like, uh, I think it's a fucking great review. It's mostly because Ook is in there, isn't it? I will watch, I watched the first one. Once I played play Last it? of Us 2, yeah. I will yeah. watch it. Yeah. Right. I don't want anything spoiled. Yeah, I think it looks great and it adds to the show. Obviously, Horace Dev, anything he does is gold and the 8-bit Hobbit is oh, gorgeous Hellman, yeah, looking. Yeah diddles in the dark brilliant I love Jay's line stitch that golem <laughs> <laughs> warrior masks awesome you know like they're a great kind of segue and I love the one with the mustache that just go that just pops on <laughs> it's awesome Wes did a great job there <laughs> free one booking warrior you know with the smoke and uh, oh yeah him appearing in the different parts of the arena just Adam fucking amazing obviously the Nitro and Thunder animated logos are gorgeous warrior games you know with the tank coming in and firing all awesome uh, stuff Andy Galloway boss yeah a bit of 3D animation there you know is there awesome and then the amazing history of the WCW championship and history of the WWF championships yeah Cup Studio Fraser gorgeous yeah, amazing I love the artwork and I love the way that they're modelled on the old toys and not the actual wrestler mm. I just think it's adorable 
My choice is The Ghost Ship from The Last of Us 2. It is the test run of doing kind of animated retrospectives. So we kind of started with a less big... Uh, like, I didn't know if it would work or not, so we thought we tried out in a gaming review. I thought it was a perfect place. Plus, there was no footage of what was said because the story just unfolds via text. Like, yeah. you, you find messages on the ship. So you can actually put some visuals to it. And I thought it worked out great. The initial impetus was watching Kento Bento's video on WCW in Korea, and it, it's animated. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. I wish I did that. Hang on. <laughs> we do a show. We can do our version of it. <laughs> so thank you to you too. I thought that came out great. And my prediction is history of the WWF championship. It's, it's just so cool. Yeah, it's amazing. And you can see there is like months and months of work put into it and love and care and stuff. So yeah. And it's informational. Yeah, all amazing. As always, my personal favorite is The Hobbit because I would imagine that's what we would be dressed like if we lived in that world oh good i, I asked you about that what would we be wearing yeah, yeah. i just needed me in a gold waistcoat yeah okay. well, obviously yeah. um obviously steve looks way too good <laughs> uh, you gotta take him down you gotta yeah, yeah. you gotta you're make a little bit more cretin <laughs> And your address is Frodo. Uh, yeah, uh, it's fantastic. Wonderful. What will win, I'm shocked, Jay, that you're not going with this as well. Oh. The Terry, Terry story all the way. Oh, really? Uh, not quite a landslide, but yeah. a big win. Okay, let's find out. In third place with 13%, Diddles in the Dark, yes. The Hobbit. Wonderful. Very happy that's all the way up there. I think us doing The Hobbit stuff, people were saying, wow, this is really the Ricky Gervais show, isn't it? <laughs> with Carl yeah. Pelley, it? It's like, oh yeah, we went fell full into it in that one. Uh, but they don't do a show anymore. But we do. So there you go. <laughs> so you're saying we're the new Ricky Gervais yeah, show, is yeah. that what you're saying? <laughs> so it's like, I'll be Ricky, you'll be Steve, and tough shit. <laughs> I'll take Carl. Yeah? yeah you I'm like okay Carl? Carl. Yeah, yeah. Way, way too clever to be Carl. Second place with 25%, history of the WCW championship. Ooh. Halloween Havoc. The Goldberg DDP. Oh, we could be wrong here, Steve. Yeah. And in first place with 32%, no fooling. It's Terry in the hey. forklift. What the fuck, Terry? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. He's going to be so proud slash angry. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Steve. Congratulations, Terry. Thoroughly enjoyable. Uh, yeah, Jay, you need you haven't shared any old work stories with us. My job was not anywhere near as fun nor terrible. Uh, I don't know if I have any stories <laughs> from Iceland. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'll have a think through okay, it. You, you know what I thought? Think harder, Jay, yeah? I was, I was a little bit sad that the floor pizza story wasn't done by Adam. It, it, was, it was great. Yeah. Do you want it done by Adam? No, it's too late. Jay. Yeah, He's looking for work, bit, like. It is. He's looking for work. <laughs> I'm happy to try commission him if he's available. It is a bit late now. No, but like, I just think that would have been funny. I, let, I will try something even less host-like the next time you're in my gaff, and maybe he can animate that. Okay. <laughs> you can't be in on it. You can't Samurai Cop to it. Like. Oh, okay. I, it needs to just naturally happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. need to be a naturally terrible host yes, that exactly. I am. Yeah, okay, yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay. Best intro. Mm, so it's similar to best animation, but it happens at the start of the video. <laughs> <laughs> just, just if you want. There's no crossover, though. You know, uh, last year's winner is Spider Brett from Survivor Series '94. Amazing. Do you have any thoughts on the? Once again, Shark Tank. They're all fucking awesome. You know, notable standouts for me. OSW '99. So I don't watch Brooklyn Nine Nine. My daughter Lena does. And when I was watching this episode, she came bursting out of her bedroom going, you're watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine? I was like, no, no, this is OSW. She's like, OSW Nine-Nine? That's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought that was uh, adorable. The Minecraft macho. So as someone who, when it came out like years ago on the Xbox 360 gen, I went down the Minecraft black hole and I got sucked into playing, playing this game. And so I know how, how much work it takes to like build something. And I can't fathom the work that went into this and to make it all kind of pop like that. Look at it. Look at the striations. <laughs> like it's fucking incredible.
Batman, that's a personal market moment seeing that, you know. Because 90s Batman, the animated series, is amazing. Yeah, uh, you like know. There's an OSW version. And then you've got the, like, pictures that were animated intros to, to like, matches and segments. Like the Perched Warrior. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, like, Wreckage Warrior and the You're a Good Joe and, and the Warrior's Hell and things like that. See, they would have been at the start of the episodes, but I didn't want to step on the toes of the Batman intro. Yeah. So they just got moved to right before Warriors segment. And they're all fucking awesome as well. Like, brilliant. Thank you. Uh, Hobbit. I'll take that. Uh, <laughs> I love the Mortal Kombat intro. I love the way you put in the little, like, fatal deviation <laughs> and things like that. Great stuff. And the second one has the room in it. It's Tommy <laughs> just for, like, a split second. Yeah. That was Chris Nyes that did that. He, it's his talents. But yeah, thank. I'll take it then. And of course, you know, Mo. Uh, all really, really awesome stuff. My choice. Oh, that Mo when I did that, so thank me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not brush over that. <laughs> My choice is the Warrior Batman, and unless people understand the work that went into the Minecraft Macho, Warrior Batman is going to win it by like a good margin. Minecraft Macho, I obviously two take J, but I made Peter do it four times with different pictures to get different colors of the blocks. Wow. And splice them together. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, did an amazing job. My choice is OSW 9999. Lewis the Relinquished. Did an amazing job. I remember trying to just because the gimmick of the intro is which wrestlers would we choose if we had a detective agency, basically? If we were running a precinct, who would we have on the team? Obviously, the Gigolo, he'd be a fun, loose cannon. Fun? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which side of the bars is he on? You know? <laughs> That's season two, mate. Um, but I felt bad that, I, you know, there's only like... Okay, the seven slots total, but like we're three of the slots, <laughs> so there's really only four slots. So a lot of people had to get the axe, like Black Rain, he made it to sketching, but he got swapped out for Backland. So I thought he'd be fun and, you know, chief of police, yep. you know? Yeah, very good. Mm. But I think Warrior Batman, because it's of the arc, and it's amazing as well, so. Gotta go for Hobbit again, of course. Two eyes and God. Two eyes and God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, if I was going to vote for it in one category, got to vote for it in the second as well. But the winner, yeah, it's got to be Batman intro. Just to say, the in the Makodam Award, it's at the halfway point, so it's us kind of walking along the yeah. mountains. And this one, it's the intro. So we're at well, the Shire. So yeah. Just okay. they are legally distinct. Uh, oh, okay. So, I, yeah. I, I, there were two paychecks involved there. You know? <laughs> Both as wonderful as each other, Jack. Excellent. Okay, with in third place with eight percent. This is like in general, this is a bit of a Shark Tank. Brooklyn Nine Nine. Mm, yeah. Okay, by Lewis the Relinquished. In second place with ten percent, Minecraft Macho. Oh, OSW One Hundred by Kevin J Ngai. <laughs> <laughs> and right from here, and in oh. first, <laughs> and in first place, a whopping forty-three percent. It's the Warrior Batman, the animated series intro by Makotum and Ryan Probeer. Oh. Oh, 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 well done, lads. Well Fucking done. incredible, man. Adam and Ryan just... <sighs> it's like gotten to the point where they're as needed in OSW as any of us. Like They, they, Nonsense. they add yeah, you can't so tell much them that shows. Get out. <laughs> You get out. You can't cut this. <laughs> you can't cut this. <laughs> I'm just trying to put someone over you, bollocks. <laughs> and next up, cunt of the year. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. All fantastic, but come on, Steve. Get a grip. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Best episode. Ooh, last year's winner, OSW 86 WrestleMania 10. Which I was yeah. shocked with that. Yeah, I was also kind of shocked at that. I think people vote based on, on the best actual show. Mm. Or or the most memorable show possible. You know, the, not necessarily the best I didn't think we did anything show. that memorable. Yeah, was, that. Like, I love talking about Brett and Owen, but, you know. Yeah, we, we had better ones. I, yeah, I, won't, I didn't think it's a award winning, you know. No, but it's a WrestleMania and it's a famous WrestleMania. Yeah. So and it's our award. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> so just really yeah, no, none of it matters at all <laughs> I continue to watch the next it's all hour. bollocks <laughs> <laughs> we just turned heel on the own our own show 
<laughs> so yeah, obviously these are just kind of the mainline episodes. So there's no like movie reviews, there's no game reviews. They're they're all in a like a separate Nugger You exclusive category. Best episode. Some great episodes here. The AEW episode is awesome. Like Heroes of Wrestling, like the first Warrior on Nitro. Um, that was mostly you just doing the, thing, the Jimmy Hart theme songs. <laughs> that was <laughs> most of that. <laughs> and it was amazing. One which I thought was going to be amazing and it didn't turn out to have as much bollocks as I thought. Fall Brawl is probably my least favorite episode of the last arc. It's our straightest review. Yeah, like they didn't give us much bollocks to cover on it. So, um, is that the war games? Yeah, yeah. Outside of that match, like the rest of the card is like, mm, you know. Blade Runner's Nitro is one of my favorites. Warrior Comics, I was petrified that was going to be like the worst review we'd ever done because I was so down when I was reading those comics. You read them over two days as well. Oh, Your so eyes bad. must have been bleeding. <laughs> it was so bad. But once we get together and we start having a laugh, you know what I mean? Like things are great crack. But I don't really think it matters. I think it comes down to Halloween Havoc 98 and Heroes of Wrestling. Mm-hmm. Uh... I think Halloween Havoc is a fabulous episode. The amount of work in it, the amount of different segments and retrospectives and animated bits, and it's fucking incredible. So that's my choice. I think it's between that and Heroes of Wrestling. Flip a coin. Uh, I'm going to go for recency bias, but I personally want Heroes of Wrestling. Okay. I think Halloween Havoc will win because it's the last big episode we've done. Although I think it's a absolute banger of an episode as well. And plus that ended with DDP Goldberg. And I think we did a great job kind of handling that. Um, my choice is Blade Runner's Nitro because Nitro Bollocks is way more fun than pay-per-view bollocks. Uh, we got the forklift segments, WCW Motorsports, the Bulldog promo where he's ballooned oh. off his face, Chucky. And then we have the Blade Runners themselves, Rock and Sting. But yeah, Halloween Havoc's going to take it. Uh, what do you think? Hmm. Just for my personal enjoyment, I thought AEW episode was the best one. Oh, great. And... You'll rue the day you said that. <laughs> 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 oh, um, you're an AEW, you're an asexual. Asexual? <laughs> that's it's brilliant. The, <laughs> whoever that... <laughs> asexual, that's amazing. That, that's quite good, yeah. It's It's... Just repeating everything you said, Steve, it's a coin toss. I'm going to go for it. Heroes of Wrestling by 2%. Oh, wow. Okay. In third place with 13%, Warrior Comics. Oh, wow. Great. Wow. Yeah. Chuck, I'm not naked enough. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I am surprised, like happily surprised. It was a completely new venture covering comic books. And I was worried. I didn't know how it was going to be received. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. There was a lot of backstage stuff we could shove in there. And I got to talk about Ashcan copies as well. And Yeah, and that I kind love of thing. that, yeah. In second place with 24.7%, Halloween Havoc. Oh. So in first place, 25.1%. He's won by, or she, I don't know, uh, has won by 22 votes. It's Heroes of Wrestling. Hooray. Wow. Yeah. Hey. Well done. Well done. W100. Yeah. Called it. Jake and Greg Valentine just smashing it there. Uh, I, lo- I love the episode. It's perfect. It's very fitting for 100th episode because it's something new but something old. And we get like the Bushwhackers back and Greg Valentine's back and coked out Jake Roberts. It's, you know, the worst day of his life. Like, <laughs> and it was on tape. It was weird because like I had loads of people tell me on Twitter and on Twitch like, oh, it's been done to fucking death. You know what I mean? Like, you know, could you just do anything else? And I was like, it was a little bit of fate that we'll make it ours, you know? And uh, I love that review. Like, I think it has a top three all-time Laugh Out Loud segment, you know, and that's Greg. Like, we're doing this for over 10 years, and that segment will travel with me for a long time, so it's great stuff. Yeah, that segment is possibly my favorite all time oh, kind wow. of what is it five seven minute segment whatever it is it's possibly the, the most i've laughed at any segment um, yeah what's what OSC wants OSC gets What bar of the year? 
Last year's winner is Razor as a 90s bus seat. Which still shocked me. <laughs> which is an amazing entry. Can you give us your choice and prediction here? Choice and prediction. Uh, uh, you know, there's not much to talk about here. Is that because uh, OSC Someone has put the Wattbar? kibosh on the segment. Who? Me? So if there's any... Uh, <laughs> Ire to be sent. <laughs> you can uh, yeah. find OOC on any social media platform and have a go with him. <laughs> you will never find me on any social media OOC platform. OOC, care of the Shire. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have disliked Wattbar for since minutes after you said the first one. And so you can't put this on me. <laughs> Double whop bars, oh, Steve. Great. Double whop bars. <laughs> bars. Yeah. All right. So we have Panzer Paladin as a golden auger. Captain Lou is boy, special detergent. High voltage, zero bar. Dale Torborg as Rodimus Prime. And Dale Torborg as uh, Georgie Campos. What 90s goalkeeper? It's Georgie Campos. If anyone votes, I mean, I could see maybe boy winning because the word boy is in it. It's a fantastic one. Wait, that was one of mine. I can't say it that. It actually was. Yeah, a, a, that's a J <laughs> choice. What 90s goalkeepers, Dale Torborg. I think that's what the fans are going to go for with a possible on Captain Lou is boy. Hmm. I agree. What 90s goalkeeper are you? I thought that was fantastic because we're like 10 years into this gimmick and you came up with something that's really funny and very different, but so fitting. Amazing. My choice is Panzer Paladin because Darktone got us into a freaking video game. I love, yeah, Darktone. Amazing, Boy, fucking mate. Butcher. My personal vote is Jorge Campos because I actually enjoy that and it brought back good memories of watching the 94 World Cup. And you got it right, so you won Wap Bar. Oh, I did. I won a Wap Bar and, you know, not a massive margin, but I think it'll creep in there. Okay. In third place with 17%. Captain Lou is a boy special detergent. Uh, Georgie has it, lads. Second place with 23%. Dale Torborg is Rodimus Prime. Oh, oh, hot rod. And in first place with 37%, what 90s goalkeeper? Hey. Dale Torborg. Nice. Dale nice. Georgie That's Campos. Good. Fantastic. Yeah, very much deserved. People ask, why don't we do Wop Hour every episode? Because we don't want to burn out on it. <laughs> if we have something fun that we can bring to it, just to keep it kind of fresh. Yeah. We did do a Watt Bar in Allison's HBK Baywatch, the second Baywatch one that we've done. Uh, we did a special Watt Bar is... We did five Watt C- Bars. CJ's Ma. <laughs> yeah, CJ's mom has got, got it going, going on. on. Uh, so if you want your Watt Bar fix, you can uh, check out Allison's. Just type in OSW Baywatch and it's the one with HBK on it. Yep. Favourite segment. Ooh, last year's winner, Art O'Donnell, commentary supercut from OSW 93 and King of the Ring 94. I don't like that because it has no input from us. Uh, it's just a supercut of what Art O'Donnell said. But we all knew it was going to win. I, that's, if, I could, if I could turn back time. I'd take out this uh, nomination. We'll take it out. <laughs> <laughs> Choice and prediction, sir. Oh, man. Whew. Oh, sorry, do you want to talk uh, about I was going to quickly go through. OC explaining his e-fedding days and politicking his way to mid-card uh, championships. Glory. I can't take all the credit. Jay was right there along was, for the ride with me. It was brilliant. <laughs> I mean, he, he had the ear of the, of the promoters. So. Was the actual the lower down, so. e-world two-man power trip. Yeah, it was amazing. Then there's like, I will see doing the Hobbit extras. You braved yourself through, what, nine hours of content? It was only about six. <laughs> Maybe it's nine hours because I had to watch it twice to grab all the <laughs> <laughs> next, next time, timestamp, I think. Oh, right. oh you, got the, you want the deal. No, or or don't. You know, I'm grand. fine, actually. Yeah, because Steve's doing <laughs> yeah, the yeah. editing. Yeah. 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 From the AW episode where we bury Fozzie relentlessly for 10 minutes <laughs> and then end up by going... Judas is a banger, lad. Isn't <laughs> yeah, it's a great song. Yeah. I love because people will come back to her like when I stand 2005 episode and be like, ah, oh, actually, Fozzie are great, isn't they? And I'll just go, uh, name me three band members that aren't Chris Jericho. Yeah. Or, name me three albums that aren't Fozzie or Judas. Mm. You know, and that's it. Like, yeah. Then there's uh, Jay's uh, Sonny Gets What Sonny Wants. <laughs> great stuff. Valentine and George Steele, just that whole match and segment. Amazing. Me and you, Steve, 
loving uh, Long- Warriors debut, much to Jay's shock and yeah. slight anger. <laughs> <laughs> slight anger <laughs> on my neck. <laughs> Vince's AOL chat. Are you married to BBC? <laughs> oh, that was great. I love it. Great yeah. stuff. Alex Wright and the British jellyfish stuff. Oh, we needed more Alex Wright. He yeah. Was making a strong play, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But then, you know, he didn't. He just kept finishes. wrestling Finley. <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> uh, Chucky. Chucky Erlaw. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, Choppy Chimpy. Ch- I love that. Yeah, I love that we got that in. <laughs> gotta get it in. Like. Yeah. Should we have got that animated, Steve? Again, we'll, we'll have another go yeah. round of that as yeah. well, Jay. I think. Just, just stuff it in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pop. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you got oh. Million Dollar Mania in. <laughs> Why not? Why not? You got my leg. Leg. It's um. been no episode since. We got in in the last show. <laughs> Uh, Cut it if you dare. It, it's like, you know, in the workplace where it's, you know, number of days since last accident. But here's the number of days since par. There is no time where that would not be suitable. That can be referenced any time. Ch- and, and try me on this. Okay. At some point later in the in this video, will you, will you get Paul in there? Shoehorn it in. Again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it must fit. Mm. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I understand yeah. the rules. Okay. Uh, just a few more. Uh, floor pizza. I think it's probably something that most people, you know, might not care about it, but just knowing Jay and e- even though I wasn't there, <laughs> I can see it in my mind's eye and it's great. <laughs> OC talking about bouncy cars. Um, oh, the Conan brilliant music stuff. video. Uh, it, and it had a, a Steve quote of the year nominee, which, uh, which is fantastic. <laughs> That's a good yeah. one, one, one that was on the verge of being cut. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. very close there. But then it's like the punchline to the segments. I was like, ah, gotta to leave it in. And of course, Warrior blasting his artist for four pages, having a go at cancer patients, and what a con- <laughs> <laughs> what an absolute oh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, prick. You can do prick. Oh, what a prick! Yeah. Yeah. All right, so solid, solid editing there, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so some fabulous segments, some like really, really funny stuff. I had a blast going back through every episode and listening to things and like laughing over again. What did I go for? Honestly, it's Valentine. That's what I chose. That's what I think the fans are going to choose. I think Warrior debut promo, just because the two of us agree and Jay doesn't, has like the slimmest of outside chances, but it doesn't really. It's Greg. Uh, yeah, agreed. Valentine Steel for both. Yeah, yeah. And it's a great segment. I love it. I When I finished, I immediately converted that segment to MP3 and sent it to you so you could listen to yeah. it. So it's like, okay, that has to win anyway. Couple of uh, mentions. Well, three actually that I enjoyed most. Sonny wants what Sonny gets. <laughs> that, that man. That was, I prefer, I loved the Valentine Steel segment. I preferred the Sonny uh, Sherry segment. Is that because just like me messing up uh, seven, eight times in a row? Yeah, but it's the connotations of uh, Sonny wants what Sonny gets. <laughs> like, she doesn't have a choice. <laughs> she <laughs> take what you get. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Amazing. I love it. Yeah. Choppy Chimpy. You got a place in the heart for Choppy Chimpy. Oh, we've been always. saying that for since well, Walking since Dead. Walking Dead, yeah, like yeah. 2007-ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, like, I love how it ends. You're like, <laughs> Choppy Chimpy, she looks like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Just to, in summary. <laughs> it's, it's fucking brilliant. And no, 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 no. What will win, yeah, I think, Valentine uh, Steel segment. Mm-hmm. Number three with 7.16% Saturn and a sex fest. Yeah. That's a segment, yeah. 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 So like me, that's more of a front runner for like running gag. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but hey, people like what people get. <laughs> 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 or best rest yeah yeah. in second place with 7.19% three votes this came wow. in front Vince's infamous AOL chat no. F- fucking <laughs> bastards <laughs> <laughs> I made the BBC <laughs> I love I love that Father Ted quote that you just got in there it was great Jeff Cerberus did an amazing job editing that one like it's he got, great like he photoshopped the all the faces and everything. yeah yeah amazing and in first place with 17% OC explains his e fetting days in politics. Oh, oh wow. Wow, yeah. That's fantastic. Amazing, 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 amazing. So basically, er, should we give it one last shot then with the old e fetting, Jay? People want it. Uh, I think they just want to hear us uh, politics. <laughs> 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 hear how we were massive heels back in the day. OSW. 
never going to open a real Fed, may open an eFed. Oh, ooh. Uh, but not one of those shitty ones where you're Kurt Angle, you're The Rock. Uh, you know, no, no, yeah, no, 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 no. You have to make up your own yeah, character, yeah, yeah. gimmick, background, yeah. everything. But uh, yeah, good times. I mean, it, it does give you a window into what we would be like as promoters, you know. Or Horrible. Horror, you know. Yeah. We would. Greg Gagne in the belts. Yeah. It, oh, God. Yeah. Vince Russoing out to yeah. the ring every yeah. night. Oh, I mean, terrible. That was our plan by the end of it is like if we managed to get the belts legally from Chaos Wrestling, we grab a ref, we get him into the ring, and then who pins me one, two, three. I pin Uke one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> he pins me one, two, three. Yeah, multiple um, times yeah, world champions. Yeah. And so, without them knowing we both come 20 times <laughs> world champions <laughs> and then throw the belts in the trash what a pittance and then we're out <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think we were this petty I know I know <laughs> but, we but we really really are <laughs> State of your hair. Best dressed award. Ooh, who had the most embarrassing outfit slash look? Now, last year's winner was the Heavenly Bodies <laughs> with the crappy angels wings. Yeah. The gigolo Jimmy Del Rey and Tom Pritchard. Pick and prediction, sir. We have another killer's row, lads. Too many to even go through everything. I'll just go through what I think has the highest chance of winning. So, okay, my personal choice, Cody Rhodes. And his knacker tattoo. tattoo yeah. Horrific stuff. I think Greg Valentine has a good chance based on the strength of the Heroes of Wrestling. The segment, yeah. Segment. Um, Just by being himself. That's such an insult. I think... Like he didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Get in, you know? I think Choppy Chimpy, because she looks like a monkey. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> I, I hope that wins. Saturn and his sex vest. Very high chance. Wolfpack's thing, eh. Raven's Bird has a chance because that was a gag that ran throughout the entire arc. And uh, Giant's onesie fraying at his arse. So my choice is Cody Rhodes. The winner is going to be either Cody Rhodes or Greg Valentine. Uh, Steve, did you know, uh, this was pointed out to me uh, on Twitter, your name is up on the screen there. Big Show, you know, he's wearing his onesie, but at one point he must have had his onesie on backwards because (laughs) his arse fray... Became a gi split. <laughs> <laughs> no it fucking spray, it way. It was a slit at the front of his uh, pelvis, yeah. Wow. Anyway, check it out, check it out. Uh, my my favourite thing was Kendall Wyndham, and he, he blew open his jocks. <laughs> to he his was underwear. trying to hide it. Uh, yeah, when he was closing his legs, I, I, was, I lost my shit laughing. And uh, my prediction is Sex Fest Saturn. Like, it's amazing, and it, it spanned a few episodes, and it's just, it's a whopper. What's happening? Like, <laughs> stop the review, and let's review his his attire, you know? Uh, I, I, like, I would love Choppy Chimpy to win, but no chance. Uh, I'm with you, Jay. I would love the chimp to... Uh, chimp? Get chopped. <laughs> <laughs> no, or get chopped continually just to maintain the, yes. the chimp look yeah. I still look at Cody's tattoo and still like it I can't not like I can't stop myself like at this tattoo it. I don't know I think it looks amazing and I think where it is is amazing I think the colouring is amazing I think it suits him I love his tattoo I would never have the balls to do it but him being who he is he's never going to go for you know a, a job pushing paper in some office somewhere so you know he, he can do what he Minding wants Minding kids yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's yeah as you say it's a killer's row love greg the, uh, valentine even though it wouldn't be fair for him to win because that's what he looks like it's not fair ming or slash meng you know my thoughts on on him <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't found you yet uh, Raven's Bird great running gag and it just hit the nail on the head for me it's, yes that is exactly what it looks like the winner I think it's going to be old Perry Saturn ooh the old sex vest okay and in third place a 12% Wolfpack Sting with goatee ooh the old I Eric Idol he does look terrible <laughs> you know like, <laughs> yeah, yeah it's true <laughs> definitely fits in with the name of the state of your hair so mm. State of your facial hair. Okay. In second place with 23%, Saturn and a sex Ooh. fest. Oh, it's wide open. Oh, it's Cody, oh, it's Cody or, or Greg. Oh, this is going down to the wire here. Ooh. But in first place, 28%, 
Cody Rhodes is yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Delighted for him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. State of your tat. He does have very nice suits, uh, yeah. just not the neck tattoo. I think he's made that choice. If he was gonna, if I was like, I want a tattoo. Actually, no. And there you're alright. <laughs> let's yeah. let's just remain friends. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> okay, and we're back. I don't think we're doing an ad break questionnaire for this. This uh, Golden Nugget is sponsored by... What kind of lube is this? Lube... Lubensky? Lubelski. Lubelski. Grog. Ale of the Orcs, and uh, which counts most of the women in Poland. Yay! Okay, can I say that? I don't know if I... Yeah, of course yeah. you can. <laughs> Steve, Steve and yeah. Steve will allow it. Yeah, yeah. He can yeah. allow okay, it. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Best retrospective. Yes, our informational segment in OSW. Last year's winner, sports. It's sports education. Bob Backman retrospective from OSW 93, Survivor Series 94. Stephen, can you give us your... Uh, uh, how how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. First of all, I want to say I'm very glad that we decided to separate retrospectives and segments because I feel like the retrospectives were kind of shortchanged. And they're very different things, you know. Here's a glut of info researched and delivered. And, you know, best segment is generally what joke did we crack yeah. At, at, yeah. at the end, you know. So, yeah, we have WF in Japan. Great stuff. Making of and controversies in The Last of Us 2, which is like, what, 40 minutes long or something like that? <laughs> Goes on for yeah, like... Yeah, yeah. Like it only felt like 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which do you think are kind of in with a shout so that might win? In with a shout. History of AW. Heroes of Wrestling in 1999. Those both have the kind of animated parts to it. Yeah. Well, that Don uh, Kirby and uh, Ruben animated. Warrior Career. Definitely. Is in with a big chance. I think Chucky. Chucky Arla. Yeah. Uh, uh, that was so much fun because I managed to slip a like a horror film review in there. Yeah, you did. Swoggled it in there. Sw- <laughs> Horn swoggled it. Uh, Warrior in 96, definitely in with a chance. Uh, Warrior wrap up as well. All really, oh, yeah? really well. Oh, good. Yeah. My personal choice, making of and controversies in The Last of Us oh. 2. I think we dealt with a lot of pretty hard hitting issues in the gaming world and we did it very well. And uh, who do you think will win? Warrior Retrospective. Oh, wow. Okay. Like yeah. the... It's like his arc covering his like youth and, you know, getting into bodybuilding and early wrestling days and WCW, WWF. Uh, like, it's really well done. Oh, thank you. I, I can take most of the... <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I... Like, my favorite is The Last of Us 2, Making Of and Controversies, because it's so poorly covered on the internet. And I think, uh, I don't know, a lot of people have a, like a heavy... No, bias but like very emotionally charged and it seems to be agenda based coverage of it and suspicious that it's missing in some reviews so even though you know we don't have a large platform I'm glad we were able to put our two cents into the piece Yep, and uh, I think Blade Runners because uh, OSC you narrate that one and I think I love the end <laughs> <laughs> well I didn't write it <laughs> <laughs> Um, it was just very cool hearing you talk and uh, had the like synth wave underneath as well so the whole thing the package package, package. together there's a l- couple of bits of um, new artwork and animation in there as well so I think it all just came together yeah. for me probably like most people my favourite retrospect is where I learned something you know a lot of the historical wrestler stuff we'd know anyway you know just over the years of following wrestling but what I learned a lot about was two subjects. One was the Ashcan copies. I love that stuff. Oh. It was fascinating. That was my favourite with a shout out to the Lloyds of London wrestler stuff. I knew a bit about it, but you definitely shone more of a light on it, which I really enjoyed. Thank you, Jay. Yeah. What will win is one of the Warrior ones. I'm going to go with the wrap up. Oh, OK. Uh, number three with 12%. Alan Partridge retrospective. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I didn't see that coming. I, I I love talking Partridge, and if you were keen, like I'd love to view more Partridge. Most of the show is Simpsons or Partridge. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So if we say something that feels weird, yeah, it's a Partridge. Or bottom or yeah. red dwarf. Yeah. Uh, Mostly yeah. Partridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
but mostly with. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a Simpsons reference. There you go. Uh, second place with 14%. History of AEW. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The bet. Mm, the turn. Mm. The river. <laughs> <laughs> and the flush. Hey. <laughs> and in first place with 16%, Warrior Comic. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Oh, very good. I didn't expect that at all. Yeah. At all at yeah. all. Awesome. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm really glad that the Warrior Comic episode is getting like shocking yeah. amounts of love. Maybe the comic is a popular episode because people weren't really aware of there was a comic. I wasn't. And I, you know, people are learning stuff, including myself. So maybe that's an element too, whereas a lot of people have seen Halloween Havoc and so on. Okay. Move over, Coliseum Home Video. Best Nitro Backstage Blast Exclusive. Ooh, wow. Last year's winner, Diesel's. What a pittance. Run- yeah, I mean... Silly, silly runaway winner there. Like, we created the award just to give him the award. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Uh, what are you thinking? What's doing in that brain yours? There is... Saturn trying to walk away from Jimmy is good fun. Oh, amazing. But it's a two-horse race if I've ever seen it. It's like Bully's bollocks promo. Like, one of the worst promos you're ever going to see. Or it's Horace Hogan coming right in at the very end when we're just getting him over for, you know, being terrible. <laughs> so my choice is Bully, and I think the fans are going to vote for Bully as well, but I'm kind of pulling for a horse. Well, that's exactly how I feel. It's like Bully is my choice and Bully is my prediction, but oh man, Horace, I'm rooting for you. Just not in any tangible fashion. <laughs> <laughs> I think Horace is very much like a horse. Took him out the back and shot him. <laughs> No, he's running a race and he's the, you know, he's starting from the back. Nobody's even aware he exists. And then the, you know, the way horse racing is um, essentially fixed or handicap races are fixed. You know that, yeah? That what they'll do is, do you want to know this? You tell me horse racing is a work. Handicap races. That That means that, uh, I'm not sure. Don't worry about that for now. But... (laughs) You can add this. This is a horse racing retrospective. <laughs> horse racing. <laughs> so what happens is riders will intentionally fall, pretend to fall off the horse leading up to it, or they will pull up the horse so the horse doesn't win so that they get into these races and their odds are better. And then they'll end up winning at 100 to 1. It's a fix. It's a complete fucking fix. Right. But anyway, Horace is very much like a handicap horse. So... They're pulling him up, they're holding him back, and just at the very end, they release him and look what we get. So Horace all the way, definite winner, not just in this category, in future categories, but... In life. In <laughs> <laughs> For a period of two episodes of, of uh, Thunder in 1998, he will win and he should win. Oh, wow. So he's 100 to 1, but he's coming in. <laughs> yes. Uh, in third place with 19%, Saturn doing his best to avoid talking to Jimmy. Okay. Okay. Number two, twenty three percent. Horace Hogan. Oh. oh. Which means in number one, forty five percent. Bully glazed over promo. Wow. So that's a big runaway, run away, mm. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous stuff. Like this got the full OSW treatment. We, you know, like animated subs and modem sounds and everything. Great stuff. All time wrestle bollocks. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, your man Zach from Tabac Corner did an amazing job putting the subtitles, and it, he did the Virgil taking a shellacking back from Survivor Series ninety two. Yakazuma, mm. yeah, Yakazuma, yeah. yeah, yeah. So he did this one as well. Amazing job, mate. Roydy Magoo. Most ridiculous physique. Last year's winner, Lex Luger. Picking one up, not for the right reasons, but he got one. He got his name etched, etched <laughs> on the old golden auger. Picking predictions here. What are you thinking? This is a dense field here, guys. Beefy. Beefy. This is a butcher shop. Yeah. A Kerry Von Eric. Ridiculous. Even for the Hulkamania steroid era. <laughs> Look at Coconut the beef. Eras, yeah. Look at the striations. <laughs> um, Abby. John Cena in a wig. 
definitely feel she's, you know, she's a dark horse just to keep the horse <laughs> <laughs> An analogy, <laughs> An analogy going. going, yeah. Brian Cage uh, making his OSW Golden Nogger debut. Ridiculous physique. Scott Steiner up for his third time. We have Goldberg, Wrath, Buff. And nudie distrucity warrior. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he got in there. That's so unfair. Great stuff. Because he's drawn. Like. It's a two horse race again. Yeah. Scott Steiner up for his third possible chance. Chance to have the Roydy Magoo award named after him. I don't think it's his year. I think Brian Cage is fucking ridiculous looking. Like he he, he barely looks human. He's my choice. He definitely should be the winner here. It just depends on if the fans want Steiner to get his third one or not. That's exactly same sentiments here. Uh, I picked Brian Cage because he outroided Scott Steiner. <laughs> and it's even more impressive as it's modern day and not back in the Attitude Era. Uh, my prediction as well, Brian Cage is going to do it straight in at number one. Yeah, personal favourite would be Brian Cage. But for me, it, it's Steiner's going to win any time he appears. It's kind of like Hogan, if he's in for a cunt of the year, kind of, you know, he he's just going to uh, win it kind of uh, thing. Uh, it's kind of like Hogan if he's in for... Clint of the year? Most, yeah. If, biggest Clint? <laughs> biggest Clint of the year. <laughs> it's going to be so hard. I don't know. Maybe I'll just go... <laughs> whenever he yeah. says that. Okay, number three with 20%. It's New D Destrucity Warrior. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. In second place, 26%. This is probably the big one, you know? This is the big one. Scott Steiner. Oh! Meeting in first place with 37%, Brian Cage. Congratulations, Wow, Brian. went head to head with the roidiest of them all. Yeah. And, and came out on top? Came out. Well done. The, the Steiner hoodoo has been uh, vanquished. Unbelievable. Like, yes, very. it's richly deserved, and I'm glad he's still around in person to accept the award. <laughs> 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 this will age poorly <laughs> in 10 years. Yeah. Uh, five, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be over this. You call it a hurricanrana one more time. I'm coming down to the booth. The Frankenstein. <laughs> the Contacular Hulk Hogan Award. Yes, last year's winner, the actual Clint. <laughs> Fabulous <laughs> Mula. And then the fun Clint. <laughs> It's really, you know, <laughs> listen, this is what's happening. Or I, I, if you prefer, I can bleep the word. What do you, what do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't leave it. Leave, leave it, it Clint. You. Clint works. Certain times bleeps are funny. Yeah. Um, sometimes they're annoying. And some sometimes, yeah, they, mm. they can be a pain in the hole. Okay. Man, this is a stacked award here. <laughs> Koji Gatow for shooting on the beloved Quake Muffin. And, then, and saying wrestling is funny. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Oh, see politicking his way to gold and completely no selling the OSW Christmas Gansey for free <laughs> saying no I don't want one Jay I um, stand by that <laughs> Cody Rhodes turning into a bit of a hunter yeah. Kip Sabian uh, which is a, you know one dear to my heart for raiding him on Twitch and him immediately telling all of the new followers that no we don't talk about wrestling here Total Clint of the Year kind of stuff. Can I shock you, Stephen? Um, He actually commented on his nomination for Clint of the Year, saying, I mean, it was a dark time of wrestling for me indeed. However, the C word is one of my favorites, so I wear that as a badge of honor. Thumbs up emoji. It's like, part of me wants him to not win it now, but also part of me wants him to win it more. Just because he was a good sport of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Is he any better at wrestling now? You would have to see him. Nah, you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> All the ones that I think are in with a big chance of winning, like Warrior for dedicating four pages of his comic uh, yeah. to have a go at his staff. Buffer for asking fans to rat out people who use his catchphrase. And, uh, and Brett Hitman Clark as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And Braniff from Firepower for uh, losing his wife and partner and then immediately hitting on the waitress. Just because it's so close to my heart, I went for Kip's You have to, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it's between Bruce Buffer and OC. I think, Steve, you are going to win it. 
Oh, wow. You know, my I, my head and my heart, like, my heart says OSC, because that's my prediction, and I hope you win. So I'm going with that. The only spoiler would be Buffer, but I'm going OSC all the way. Oh, it's going to be close. I'm certainly top two. Um, I don't think it's going to be Buffer to challenge me. I think it's going to be Warrior. But oh, shooting on his artist? Yes. Yeah, yeah, like, that's an actual Clinty thing to do. It's, you know, I'm the, I'd like to think I'm the fun Clint. <laughs> Maybe. Um, Apologies to any actual Clint set. <laughs> uh, go on, I'll, I'll go for me. Okay. So, number four, uh, lost out by 17 votes. Oh, see. <gasps> Ooh, wow. Follow wow. taking his way into the gold in the E Fed. Disappointed. No selling. It's because, it's because the people actually love you. I and know, they don't want to call you the Clint of the year. Clearly, not that much. Like, I'm fourth place. <laughs> <laughs> He either wants to be yourself. first or get zero votes. <laughs> <laughs> and third place with 11%, WCW Bookers having interference finishes to every main event. That, yep, totally. Drove me nuts by the end because I was watching every night show and every Thunder. And at times it had me like pulling my hair out. In second place with 15%, Buffer. <gasps> uh, Asking fans to rat out people and use his line, botching Brett's name. And in first place with 29%. I can't even breathe in anymore. The ultimate warrior. Oh. Dedicating four pages of his comic book Shame. to ranting at his artist. Nobody wanted that. I mean, uh, you know, it is Another his Another comic book win. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That really touched people, you know. <laughs> 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 wow, we it did it 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 got people. You know, maybe it was a Christmas Day episode. Maybe that helped. Mm, yeah, as yeah. well. But now this is too many wins. You know, this is yeah, this really is, is wow. turn, turning yeah. out to be like I. I'm really happy about that because we had literally, if you include me and Steve, ten editors working on that video to get it done in time for Insane. Christmas. So I'm very did happy. This about win that. episode of the year. No, uh, Heroes Wrestling was it? Yeah, Heroes yeah, Wrestling. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, number three. Okay. Wow. That, that that's super impressive. Yeah, that, like if we were going to delineate into fun Clint's and you know serious Clint's, he this one is a serious Clint because he had a go at your man with cancer. Yeah, that, that's not yeah. fun, and that's not even mentioning his like post wrestling stuff when he was touring the colleges and saying oh, terrible ah, things. Horrible. Stuff, so man. you know, like he is like you know, Super honestly, Clint. he is a rightful winner. You know, like he's he's not Moolah level, but you know, like he's a definite Clint. Mm. Good stuff. Good. Yeah. Well, we got through that. The you Clint? Know? Yeah, yeah, we got through it. Clint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I want to say, like, are we, like, almost becoming pros? At this? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Steve, no, no. What do you want out of me, huh? Oh, yeah, I got this. What a pittance. What a pittance. Biggest letdown of the arc. Last year's winner, Backland being snuffed out as champion. Yeah, we got him over. And no, he got himself over to us, which ended up getting him over. <laughs> in some kind of wankathon that involves us. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> he we was were taking awesome. credit in some way yeah. for yeah. his success. <laughs> but, no, you know, but, but no one gave it to him for the near 30 years, even though he was incredible. Oh, to be fair, we didn't like him until he went batshit crazy either. Yeah, I think you you were always pulling for him, though. That's because I remember him batshit crazy. Yeah. And then that carried over to my later years where I was like, well, he must have been good before that. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad again. <laughs> <laughs> he was great for one summer in 1994. Yes. Yeah. And that's about it. And then yeah. three days later, torpedoed. <laughs> Damn it. Who's in your crosshairs there, Steve? There's a few that I really like. Evil Uno. Matthew's mate. Yeah, he came out of the traps, didn't he? And just uh, <laughs> rather gingerly <laughs> stumbled like, a bit. Yeah. One, there was like, you know, Jay's like, the state of this guy, Matthew's mate. And then there's the worst self rock bottom you've ever seen, like onto his own hip. Uh, and then there's him being thrown out of the Battle Royal with the chugga da chugga da chugga da, changing direction and running into the pole. So uh, definitely one of my favorites. Mox and Omega, the big ending to the big match on the big pay-per-view, complete farty ending. Mortal Kombat, Annihilation, great. Uh, it's quite and, famous though, yeah? Yeah. And Funley and Alex Wright, this is just a pure personal thing, disappointing me. Because 
I had built this up in my own mind. <laughs> I expected greatness and I got bad. It was bad. like the S7 treatment in his head. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funly, Alex Ray. <laughs> you think you're special. You do. For my personal choice, AW Farty Pyro, the exploding barbed wire death match. And I think the fans are going to go for AW Farty Pyro too. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, my prediction is actually Farty Pyro as well. It's kind of famous. It, it like instantly infamous. Uh, you can't be. Oh, it's hilarious. It's so great. Like it's, it's such a perfect end. You know, uh, for us. <laughs> uh, my choice is actually opening the first page of the Warriors comic. Oh, because like we we're interested, and this is a completely new thing. It's a comic. What have you got? Let's peer into the mind. Oh, I instantly regret this. <laughs> this is a terrible and, and it's like at the very first page you're deflated instantly <laughs> so what a pittance I hope Farty Pyro doesn't win I wasn't personally let down by it because I don't know if we would have done that review necessarily if it wasn't in there I, that was a hilarious cap off to a decent pay-per-view I don't know why Eddie Kissy Bum Bum is in there because I love it and oh so, we buried it yeah but it's some of his <laughs> best work in WCW you know <laughs> That's uh, not really a compliment <laughs> either. Like. <laughs> but I think the comic will win. Oh, wow. Okay. In third place, 10%, we've got opening Warriors comic and seeing the oh, first page. Yeah, okay. Number two, 12%. Halloween Havoc feed cutting DDP Goldberg whilst keeping Hogan Warrior. Yep. Which is amazing. Like, if you cut Hogan Warrior and kept DDP Goldberg, everyone would love the pay-per-view. Yeah. Anyway. And first place with a whopping 40%. Mox Omega's Farty Pyro. Yeah. Farty Pyro, baby. You're right. We wouldn't have done it probably if mm. it didn't have that finish and you're like, oh, this is good stuff. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, that's literally why I chose it. <laughs> because it, it was just the right level of bollocks mixed with quality wrestling that I thought would make a great show. Yeah, mm. yeah I really enjoyed it. I hope we go back and do another AEW show. Mm-hmm. You can't hear that when I'm tapping the nose. <laughs> <laughs> do it harder. Uh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't, they'll never hear it. I'd have to like click, you know. Arc MVP. Ooh, that's recognizing the consistent kind of workhorse or someone who made episode or episodes a joy to watch. Yeah. And last year's winner, Todd Pettengill. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Yep. None of us thought that he was going to do it because we were going like, Brett, it's going to be Owen, it's going to be Backland. And then it didn't even dawn on me, but he did make every show that we watched better. We we put him over hard. That was at Roman Reigns level. But that was totally. I'm shocked that we, we managed to convince others, <laughs> which is ridiculous. But there you go. Uh, what are you thinking? I think there's a few here that are in with a real good chance. Andy Serkis is not going to win. I put him in this because he single handedly made a terrible movie watchable for one great scene. Mm. You know, like that scene is fantastic. Like, it's like C, 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 A plus. C, C, C. <laughs> C, mm. oh. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. C, C, C minus. No. Jimmy Hart, not a wrestler. He wasn't featured on any shows that we watched, but his contribution to this arc in the forms of his rip-off songs and the joy that they gave us Definitely worth a spot here. Saturn made the flock watchable. DDP, great guy, main eventer, made Goldberg a star, awesome human being. Jericho was great, Kidman's great, Goldberg are great. But I really do think this is between Jimmy Hart, Saturn and DDP. I went for a DDP and I think the fans will go for a DDP as well. I think he's the rightful MVP of this arc. My choice is Jimmy Hart, just what you said about him. Like his, the rip-off songs are so much fun. I enjoyed them thoroughly every time they came up. My prediction, I was like, I want DDP to win because of what he did with Goldberg. But I think Jericho was more consistent across the arc. Like he was always enjoyable propping up mid-car matches that shouldn't, you know, they're, they're nothing. But since they're Jericho, they're wildly entertaining. So uh, I went, I think Jericho will pip it. Hmm. I think this is an easy one, DDP all the way. Uh, for both? Yeah. All right. In third place with 19%, Perry Saturn. Yeah. 19%. And uh, second place with 23%, Chris Jericho. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay, two horse race here. Yeah. 
And in number number one in first place with 35% DDP. Delighted. Yep. Well Delighted deserved. Firm. Fantastic, yeah. He took OSW to Bangtown. <laughs> 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 You're the bang cushions. <laughs> Best running gag. Ooh, uh, last year's winner was My Way X7. You think he's special. Mm-hmm. You do, which is amazing. And uh, Kieran McNamara, that was his joke. It wasn't me, but I will take his credit. <laughs> okay, that didn't go down well. I won't take credit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is uh, swimming around the winner's circle here? Oh my God. You could literally make a case for any of these. Like, okay, go through all of them. This is strong. Okay, like Horace. Horace oh, is the, the key. key to, oh, I love yeah. that line. Come on. I think about it a lot. And <laughs> and it got more relevant as the arc went on and peaked right at the end, you know? I feel bad because I feel if we had a few more shows, he'd clinch it, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, probably. Like he'd be in for Hall of Fame, you know? Uh, like WCW ripoff themes, you know, all of them like Jericho's, you know? And then... Bing bong. <laughs> and just class. It was very early on in the voting and someone had told me, oh man, Brett's reverse theme didn't get a nomination. I'm really sad about it. So we were able to put it in just before it went live for everyone. Nice. nice. It's a great gag, by the way. He, the reverse Bret Hart theme. It really uh, it's fun, good. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's good shit. Saturn in the blue oyster. Another strong, strong gimmick that kind of lasted throughout the entire arc as well next up Maryland yeah. that uh, was great we had oh man the entire kind of population of Baltimore the, where <laughs> the eastern seaboard <laughs> <laughs> very upset great stuff oh, they're loving the shout outs we, there's a couple of OSW tattoos from you know, you know skulking around Maryland <laughs> <laughs> skulking around great stuff yeah. OOC's Snooky Meats from Troop Teen Clickbait Segments I, lo- I love that I love the snark and it got the worse contempt, yeah. throughout the arc yeah. I, um, I love that like this part which is usually a YouTube video by itself is just part of just a throwaway segment in our review there you it's go very, I it's, do it's, it's, this, is, this is the kind of shit you do on the toilet like it's not there's no work involved there's no talent involved that Throw- just goes for the show <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's Jay getting me to try different accents throughout the arc. Oh, that's just... Yeah, love it. Just love, love every... It's just bringing it every time. Yeah. And you're decent. Yeah. Decent. Decent, boy. Decent, boy. Ook versus Meng. You got more brass ball throughout the arc, culminating in the Halloween Havoc show where you say, come on, Meng. Yeah. Come at me, bro. And where is he? <laughs> yeah. 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 I yeah. Think think nowhere know. to be seen. Yeah. I think we know who won that battle. Skulking in Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jay adding Mario sounds to Jericho when he's jumping after winning a match. Yeah. Uh, oh, subtle, but the amount of people that told me on Twitch that they love that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I, oh, I'm got, I, we, I actually did it for for Hulk Hogan, SummerSlam 1990. Yeah. Just because he, he jumped like four times and it was like, okay, I'm putting this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I thought, oh, hey, Jericho actually jumps four or five times. Fuck that's it, great. Yeah. Bit, of a, bit of a joke. So I'm glad people enjoyed it. Yeah. Sick boy, dressing like Raven's bird. Yep, love it. I think love about it. that all the time. All I think is Raven's Bird, Raven's Bird. Yeah, it's yeah. so smart. Was it you? No, it was, uh, it was, it was Steve. Steve. It was you, Steve. Yeah, so smart. And like, because you've lived that lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> With the patty jeans. Yeah. It's showing far too much thigh. I mean, I'm literally wearing jorts now, but, but they're not cut off. So Yeah, and you... Dude, dude, it's Zaro's coming in. Doing a running. Dude, 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 dude. Okay, um, so your choice and prediction, sir. Okay. Wacko, oh, hey, hey. Mm-hmm. It's totally going to win. My choice was MC increasing snark. <laughs> <laughs> Gave me great joy. I want Horace is the key to all of this. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to Ravensbird, Ravensbird. I love it. It's in my head. But WCW ripoff themes will cinch it. I, it was so much fun. Like it just it kept giving, you know. It just yeah, <laughs> threw out the arc, you know? so that's that's it for me. I'm the same. I want WCW ripoff teams to win. 
I love that there were so many of them and you did such a good job with them. Jimmy Hart, man. Yeah. Well, it was you as well, Steve. They all had punchlines to the reading, which is anyway, great. Great. You should yeah. give it a watch. Um, you know what's special when people would text, hey, will you make a separate video for this kind of thing? Yeah. Of course I didn't, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I should put them now that we finished the arc, we could actually put all of them in. Yeah. You know? Yeah, Love Horace, V1 Accents, Maryland. But of course it's going to be Wacko Hey. Of course. Okay. That's scaring me now. In third place with 10%, WCW Ripoff Themes. Mm. Oh. In second place, 14%, Horace is the key to all of this. Yeah, yeah, Horace yeah. is the key. He, yeah. he, oh, actually, no, he was 30% lower than number one. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just so, I, so I, close. I was, and the winner with 44%. The NWO theme song. Yep, I mean, uh, it's all you, Steve. It was totally gonna win that. No, that was Jay. Wait, are you sure? Bad? Yep, Wakawa Hey Hey. It's literally in the intro to the Warrior debut when Jay goes, Wakawa Hey Hey. Yeah. The very first oh, yeah. segment. Oh, so yeah. it's Hogan coming out okay. for promo. Oh, well, congratulations. Yeah, that's the, uh, both. I created a monster, really. <laughs> Best Nogger U exclusive. Uh So this is a new one we put in last year. And the winner was WCW Baywatch with Alison, Phelous, myself and V1. Oh, it's great. This is this is our, our non-episode Nogger U exclusive voting. Because it doesn't really make... It's not really Nogger U exclusive because uh, since the pandemic we just release everything for free. Yeah. But hey, uh, what have you got there? What, what are you thinking? All right. We have Double Dose of Partridge with the Alan Partridge this time and from the Oast House. From the Oast House. <laughs> Alan Partridge. <laughs> Ook. A triple dose of uh, book review goodness. Mm. You have uh, Luger's book, Terry Funk's book and Justin Roberts' book. Oh, I think Funk's book was reading it for Botchmania. Yes. But two books, two books in 18 months beat that <laughs> <laughs> I would love I love your book reviews I would like next to. time I'm gonna I'm gonna do one. awesome there's V1 reviews Journey of Wrestling and uh, that was great the Journey of Mo we have the Last of Us 1 Last of Us 2 Deep Dive which is one of my favourite things we've ever done mm-hmm. The Hobbit The Hobbit The Hobbits The Hobbits The Hobbits Two Eyes and God Two Eyes Ooh, and God yeah. History of WWF Championship Oh yeah, Cub Studio, yeah, rocking. Double Mortal Kombat reviews with Matthew, so the original movie and Annihilation. Fantastic, I really love those, yeah. I think they came out great. And we have HBK Baywatch with Alison and Phelous. Sneaking in at the end there. Very end, yeah. Very end. And uh, OSW deleted scenes videos. Okay, I just stuck that in just to tell people that there are deleted scenes videos on Nogaryu. I don't think it's really a public consumption thing, because it's like... Here's me wanking about, here's the show, here's 25 minutes of me talking about the show and stuff that was cut out. It's not really a review. So I, you know? I think people like to, you know, l- like the bit of kind of background, you know? Yeah, well, give us five bucks and you <laughs> can <find it>. <laughs> 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 Just slide into my DMs, I'll send them to you. <laughs> Fucking love it. So my personal choice, Last of Us 2. I love that review. I really want people to go watch it. I think it's the best review of that game out there worth your while checking out the fan vote is going to be the hobbit mine is last of us too oh wow my vote is for the hobbit it's honestly i'm of all of the things that we've done i'm actually most proud of that review just because it is so many different things and so many facets like i think we made the review of that film far better than the film is like it's a very enjoyable listen and then uh would you review a game me reviewing the first adaption and you reviewing the appendices. There's so much in it. And it was a tremendous undertaking. There's an animated bit. There's a fucking game. Hor- the Horus developer, Paul, uh, animated. You got it. I can't believe you got it. <laughs> Steve, you saved me. Saved you. <laughs> Because I've been sitting here thinking, how am I going to fit this in? <laughs> Paul! Are you okay? Paul, I didn't go by the way. Paul!
But I think Baywatch, HBK with Alison Felis, uh, JNV1, just because both it is both new and it is like a wrestling adjacent review and ton of fun. Jeez, uh, we rang blood from a stone in that one. That was not a good episode, but it was loads of fun chatting with the guys. Uh, definitely looking forward to going back for a bit of the Pelican Man. Oh my God. Giant Gonzalez. <laughs> I'd rather, yes, I'd rather do... Watch diddler triple h <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah that'd be amazing yeah and we did a quickie review of the raw as well and there's a like a arc source of what bar so yeah yeah go check it out if you haven't seen it uh what are you thinking sorry i'm, just, I'm still reveling in that <laughs> <laughs> in, in the fall <laughs> <I know. laughs> of course my personal favorite is the hobbit i think it, it's gonna win it's gonna do it okay i can't see anything touching that was it everything you thought it would be and more uh mm. up for round two uh yep all right at some point in the future and you won't know sometime in the next seven years we'll get right on it <laughs> <laughs> in third place 12 percent is mortal Kombat one with matthew nice that's really fun episode i watched it matthew with uh lou Through hank's hair teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> very strokeable in second place with 17%, HBK Baywatch. Oh, Baywatch. Baywatch all over Are the shop Are we going here. to Isengard? I think so. Or, or could we be going to North City Centre and its pedestrianised area? No. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and in first place with 27%, the Hobbit! Yay! The Hobbits, the Hobbits, the Hobbits, the Hobbits. Two Isengard. Two Isengard. Isengard. <laughs> it's a small victory for the man that did that remix on YouTube 17 years ago. But even the littlest person can change the course of the future. The guy, the YouTube guy. No, no, that's just a quote from. Uh, no, but are you referring to him? Uh, yeah, well, it was yeah. referring to you saying the word little. Uh, that was, oh, okay. Fuck yeah. him, though. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and his great song. OSW Hall of Fame. Oh, me meow. Last year's winner is the Gigolo, oh. Jimmy Del Rey. Jimmy Rating Del Rey. Rey. What a personal victory that was. <laughs> you, you lobbied hard. You were like the tobacco industry. <laughs> 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 For Gigolo, Jimmy Del Rey. It did put him over big, to be fair. It really did. Let's see what... Uh, the Delights. 2022 <laughs> what creatures are in the wings this time yeah. exactly killer's row killer's row mm. ultimate warrior is he an osw hall of famer guys do no. you want him in no and i i don't i think he's way too popular to be even considered i think it's his arc so he has a very strong chance of winning yeah. so do i he he's my worry yes that he could go in but i don't think we could have left him off because the level of bollocks yeah. that he gave us with like smoky promos, injuring himself, climbing out of the cage and fall brawl, mirrors, like, pittance, pittance, like shut the fuck up, <laughs> <laughs> like farty trombones, like like he he did give us a lot. And now that you go over it, yeah. it's like if he wants to go in, you know, nothing on his own merits. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Greg the gas tank, how was he so young? Strong. Yeah, only one appearance, but what what a showing. Don't think I've ever seen a someone do so much in a five minute <laughs> segment. It's so little. Yeah. <laughs> the Bushwhackers for being involved in three of the worst things we've ever watched on OSW. The uh, Doink match was a Survivor oh Series ninety three. They had a really bad match on a Raw that we covered against uh, Well Done. And then they had this match against uh, Falkoff and Shiki. So literally three of the worst things that we've ever done. And they paired with Jameson in the yes. Mania arc as well. Yeah. So, you know, they keep on coming back up every wow. so often with the like worst stuff. heard that one flush. Yeah, you know? they, they really are. <laughs> the NWO theme, Wakawa Hey Hey. I think we would have done this arc a disservice if it didn't get 
a nomination considering we've done like Kane's knee mm-hmm. in yeah, the past Kane's and things hair. like that I didn't <laughs> think we were allowed to put in non-people anymore I thought that was ruled out a couple of years ago no? Listen, let's instate it. If if, if it wins, yeah. then let's instate it. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's much like boydom. The rules don't really matter until they matter. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. Fair enough. British Bulldog. For that one promo. Holy fuck. I don't think it's enough. No? Mm. Saturn's close. If we're putting in non-people, it's a strong oh, contender. That's hilarious. Just his clothes, not Saturn. Yeah. Just his clothes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. he'd be easy to tour then. Yeah. <laughs> Do, does he wander off like in his... His knickers, like <laughs> his bloomers, his, his panties, <laughs> in his panties, <laughs> just with a baseball cap on. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Leave the clothes at the door, and you know, he strikes, knock. He strikes yeah. me as a banana hammock fella. Really? Yeah, I bet you he just walks around, you know, backstage, tackle out. Yeah. Okay, with a baseball cap. Yeah, yeah with a yeah, yeah, yeah. complete yeah. look. He's finished. Yeah. He's finished <laughs> <getting dressed>. <laughs> <laughs> That was a whopper segment. Was that that wasn't in there? The men who are naked but are wearing clothes. Uh, yes, that was <laughs> that a great segment. Have been in there. Yeah. Yeah. And we talked about that for years. Mm. Yeah, Alex Wright, Das Wunderkind. He's a workhorse. I don't think he's Hall of Fame material. He did give us the British jellyfish. He just <laughs> needed to do more. Like he was I saddled know. with uh, Finley, yeah. unfortunately. And, like, unfortunately, yeah, he could. He did, he didn't go to the moon. Like he definitely strapped a rocket, but it it, it, it was a sputtering. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Jimmy Hart. Ooh, yes. I'd love him to win. I, I, I would be totally happy. So happy with that, yeah. He won. He's given a lot to OSW over mm-hmm. the years. And uh, last and probably least, Horace Hogan. Oh. He's the key. He's a strong contender here. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> he needed one more <laughs> show to put him over, though, you know? You know? Yeah. It's too times little, the, too the, late. the least is what matters the most, you know? Yeah. What's your picks, Steve? One Taurus will be Valentine. Ooh, and uh, I choose <laughs> Craig Valentine, and I think it's Valentine. There was enormous kind of groundswell about him, so, yeah. I want Horace. I think it's more likely to be Valentine. I'm afraid it's going to be Warrior. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. Is that the top three right there, is it? Oh, also, you can never leave out Waka Wo Hey Hey that can always make it it's 1-2 already tonight yeah right? mm-hmm. but but people wouldn't know that it's 1 when they're I, I know but you know? would people vote with the same thing three mm-hmm. times also you know? oh yeah good good call okay in third place with 13.56% Alex Wright wow mm-hmm. that's Wunderkin mm-hmm. on British Jelly mm-hmm. Beach wow that was mm-hmm. enough just the dance Interesting. Channel. okay very good well done sir well done sir second place 23.48% Horace Hogan. Oh, yes. I'm happy oh. with that. Horace. Warrior, Valentine, Wakawo Hey Hey, Jimmy Hart. Who's it going to be? In first place with 24.95%. Wakawo Hey Hey! <laughs> it's actually, it fits because it's spoiling the party. <laughs> <laughs> Running in the main event. In Three victories. Wow. Three victories. Just a clean sweep here. It, it's it's like Return of the King winning whatever, 13 Oscars, yeah, yeah. whatever. Wow, what a what a success story that was. It's literally following the arc of the NWO itself. Came in, great joke, fresh, was over, was loved. By the time we got to the end, killed a company, much like it's killed this year's Golden Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> Just sliced everything in its way, murdered every other baby face that we wanted and took all the yeah. glory for itself. Wow. Ultimate Warrior, nowhere to be seen there. Delighted. Absolutely <laughs> fucking delighted. New, new, new world order. Okay, and so now that uh, the hot dog, it's been on a solid 70, 75%, let's just kick it up into 95 to 100%, include the grandstanding, because it is our final and therefore biggest award of the night. It is... Favourite quote. The Mr. OOC quote of the year award. Oh, the, the, the <laughs> cheek. His, his <laughs> name, it wasn't it bestowed is. upon him, he just took it. Well, I, I won three times, so... Uh, yeah, um, there you go. I have the top ten quotes here. Totally. Um, but do you have your choice and prediction, sir? 
I picked two from like each of us that I really oh, like. Oh, okay. That's, That's nice. Um, so from Jay. How did you limit yourself to two from OC? Hello. <laughs> For Jay, I love your line about the torrents. He's like a torrent. Unless it's 100%, it doesn't work. Oh, man. I was like, as soon as I said it, I regretted it so much. <laughs> I got loads of people <laughs> telling me that they really, really like that That's line. That's way What's too nerdy. Oh, It God. is no, very okay. nerdy. And it means you're downloading uh, multiple parts of a zip file. Yeah. You know? And I was like, oh, it's, it's, a great, it, yeah. it's, it's smart. It's well, my browser. You. Oh, yeah? Yes. All right. I'm glad I didn't cut it then. Your second one, uh, Chucky and his Irish cousin, Chucky Arla. Hey, fabulous, yeah. clever, and funny. Can't believe we got got to sneak that in there. It was great. Uh, two for Steve. Uh, your line on Greg Valentine. How is he so young? Amazing. And your second one is the Horace Hogan, Mister Nineteen Ninety Eight. That's also amazing. Yeah. Oh, by the way, like obviously, there's way more than just two of each, but these are just of my course. two favorites. And my two from my, myself, I have a, a little dose of bollocks. Yeah, yeah. I, I get very that good. quoted to me yeah. Uh, yeah. very often. And uh, two and a half time depression cure. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> so it's like the right amount of spice. <laughs> <laughs> so my choice. I pick your Steve. I think it's going to be Mr. 1998, the uh, the Horace Hogan, Mr. 1998. I don't know. There's many buttes here. Mm. I, would, I would love it because you actually had about eight pages of quotes. And then I was like, we can't put up eight pages of quotes for uh, nominations. But And I, I put them like down. Like 130 or something, yeah. something like that at the start. I cut them down to like the bare minimum of two pages or something. The research that goes into that, though, it's... Yeah, you Must just be watched tor- all the shows. Yeah. Torturous. Uh, I, 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 yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean watching. I mean watching it back to back, you know. I, I, I watch every show and sometimes you have to watch yeah. them more than once because there's the fear that you missed yeah, out yeah, on yeah. something, you know. Definitely quote wise. Oh, and thank you to Dark Tone for uh, helping us with the Golden Auger nominations. Did a great job. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much too. Chris of Rito Lassay for uh, editing and getting some really nice visuals in there. And Next. thank you to Nick Acosta for the animated backgrounds. An amazing job. Beautiful. And thank you to Jay, because <laughs> I'm sure he's pretty great. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, I, I, I knew I'd forget to say it, so I just want to say it there, but all right. Do okay. you have any favorites? <clears throat> yeah, uh, my choice is two and a half time depression cure (laughs) 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 is having a go at me I I love that shout out to my other favourite of yours which is Michael Buffer he's a lifelong fan of money and I was like that's such a clever line because you think the line is going somewhere and it goes in the other way and it's even funnier and I love your one where you're talking about the end of Heroes of Wrestling with Jake no one's laughing no one's having a good time (laughs) it's just an outpouring of grief (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's amazing my prediction is how is he so young because mm. mm. hearing that when we were doing it because we were kind of primed and having a bit of a joke but when you said I just, that's it I'm done I you know I've just lost my shit and we'll try to get through it but it, was, it broke me uh, so fantastic thank you thank you I've got Steve quite a few but Jay gets my number one this year whoa so I'll do Steve's first um, oh sorry you share one Blobbit and Bilbo Baguette. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd put them together as one. Fantastic. Steve, this could be a, a runner. Uh, you know what, brother? I'm going to fucking batter you. Uh-huh. Oh, brilliant. brilliant. You know what, brother? I'm going to fucking batter you. <laughs> <laughs> Hulk Hogan from Tala. <laughs> it's amazing. Lethal Dose of Bollocks, as already mentioned. Brilliant. One that hasn't been mentioned. I think it's strong. It's grand, Steve. They can just rob a new one. Brilliant. It just, it it wrapped up a segment that wasn't really going anywhere. You know, it kind of saved that little segment. I do like hearing you talk about bouncy cars and I know, Mama but it, as in you your said face. earlier, there was no punchline. Mm. Steve provided it. Uh, but my favourite of the year, I mentioned already, uh, what Sonny gets, Sonny wants. Oh, wow, okay. When, to me, it was the same when you when you kept saying it over and over again. I, I was, yes. What about Cromwell? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, didn't, I wanted to know where that conversation was going, who you're going to choose. <laughs> it's just Cromwell, just <laughs> like a massive meteorite <laughs> hitting the earth. <laughs> uh, in 10th place, 3.24%. He can live in the B&V, the boy in breakfast, uh. or the bed and boy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what's yeah, yeah, yeah. Ninth place, 3.64%. It's V1. 
big horrible fat knackers waddling about smacking each other with shit and bleeding <laughs> <laughs> number eight three point nine one percent another v1 he's a lifelong fan of money yeah with yeah. michael buffer very good seventh place with three point nine eight percent you can see everything's very close here mm. v1 with a little dose <laughs> of bollocks. Thought it'd be higher. Mm. In sixth place, 4.52%. What Sonny gets, Sonny wants. Oh. Two strong contenders. Yeah, gone. Mm. I don't know what I was doing with that quote, honestly. I'm glad it stayed. Yes. Because <laughs> it was a fucking terrible line. Like, my joke was, there was no joke. In it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was it. Like, you know? <laughs> In fifth place with 5.85%. Ooh, it's a J1. Player Uno, I had a look at him and I said, I bet you're mates with Matthew. <laughs> Matthew getting in there again. There the, ma- it's the mention of Matthew. There you go. He is. Uh, he, and he, he has a has quote somewhere. one quote in here. Oh, man. No. Yeah. <laughs> Raiden, the god of exposition ah, himself. Okay, well, he's not top five then. Jay would have said. In fourth place, 6.24%. Oh, we'll see. Sorry, I'll let you finish, but I'll yeah, finish yeah, first. Yeah. Uh, in third place, 7.45%. How is he so young? Ooh. Ooh. With OC on Valentine being 48. I love that. Like, it's a nice question. It's just a posing of the question, <laughs> but it's loaded. You know? <laughs> uh, in second place, 9.4%. V1. A wrestler who doesn't wear knee pads looks more naked than if he whips out his flute. Uh, wow, I did not expect that no, to be up there. Good one. Yeah. But You're very happy to hear it. Yeah. yeah. But I love that segment in general. Just just talking about the new knee wrestlers. Yeah, yeah. new wrestlers and censoring <laughs> the knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, censoring <laughs> the knees. <laughs> and in first place, 9.75% quote of the year. Ooh. The Horace Hogan, oh, Mister Nineteen Ninety Eight, with OC. Well done, sir. Bravo, yeah. sir. Bravo, sir. Thank you. Thank with you. A richly deserved OC quote of the year award. Thank you. It's been a, a long time since the last Golden Noggers, which I also won the quote. <laughs> uh, but it, it this this doesn't mean any less than it would have if if it wasn't my fourth time. So. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for voting for me. Um, I said it last year that I can, you know, take the foot off the gas. You know, there's no pressure on me anymore. I'm going to take it off even more. And let's just see. Let's see what happens. Jeez, we're playing on easy mode. <laughs> <laughs> we're still getting dropped in. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, congratulations, David. Well done, sir. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Fantastic year for quotes. I couldn't Ozzy. take my foot off the gas <laughs> Fantastic year for quotes. That was a whopper king size Golden Nogger Awards show. Wacko a hey, hey, big winner of the night. Oh, just yeah. smashed yeah. it out of it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, congratulations. Uh, Horace Hogan, he kind of won. He certainly, he would have walked up at the end to collect, like, he wouldn't have been allowed the award, but <laughs> he would have been there, standing there, you know. He can accept via satellite, because he's, <laughs> what, from, like, outside the arena? <laughs> Shouting a speech from the door. <laughs> uh, yeah, do you enjoy that one, too? Great crack. Absolutely love the show. It's total bollocks, total faff. Like, it's verging on just utter stupidity but it's great and I love it yeah I hope people enjoy it as much as we enjoy doing the show as well alright it is okay we should probably just get this out of the way lads what are we doing for the next couple of months on OSW well there's so many things to choose from man I really enjoyed what we did after the last arc which is just take a few episodes out and make some random crazy reviews basically have an off season of things that we didn't do then we can go into an arc full force you know what I mean? Yeah, let's have a little bit of an OSW off-season where we each choose uh, what review we'd like to do. We can all choose one and maybe have a fan vote one as well. Maybe. All right. Yeah, yeah I, I'm totally down with that. And four-time quarter of the year winner gets a double choice. Double duty. 
Bruce, fantastic. Brucey bonus. Okay, so I, I want to do a watch along and we'll reveal that closer. Oh, we'll reveal it on uh, our subreddit or slash OSW review. Oh man, so fantastic. So we will see you uh, watch along next. Watch along. Watch along, yeah. yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. So you can head on over to or slash OSW review and see what we have. <laughs> <laughs> Little gold nuggers are on the books. In the pocket. Out of sight. And uh, you can, if you can watch the other seven Golden Nugger Awards show in the playlist in the description and also at the end of the video, and uh, you can see how much longer we've grandstanded over the years. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're feeling spicy, jaunty, maple bacon pancake, scotch flavor with milk and white chocolate barry, a delicious by the way, thanks, Lana. Luvelski Mjod Pitney Polterek. I don't know. What a pitney. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's delicious. Delicious. Uh, you, if you want to keep us in fine Polish grog and chocolate, you can. Send us a couple of bucks and uh, donate at loverreview.com. And when you're here, you can see the scant couple of reviews we've yet to release in public. Uh, some good stuff there. Or it might be, if you're from the future, then you can just watch it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> then don't bother us. So it's a goodbye from V1. Thank you. OSE. And myself, still sadly, the two and a half time <laughs> golden <laughs> 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 Thank you, Stephen. And remember, a winner is you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>